Mr. Adamek, Bank of Beirut, is very pleased to have you here today. If we can start off with a small introduction about yourself and your startup business, please. Hello, my name is Zerne Adamic. Uh, we are Dutch startup, but the team is actually coming from Slovenia. Uh, what we do, we, uh, we are doing the visual Internet of Things uh, platform for Industry 4.0. So we help the industry to easily, more easily connect to the Internet. And today, why are you here? Why are you participating in BDL? Are you, in, are you just doing it for the exposure or are you in need of some type of funding? What is your main motive? I mean, it's always startups always need funding. Even if they're not ra raising, they're looking for the potential next round and to open the markets and to open the potential. Uh, but our, our main goal is actually to see what's going on in this ecosystem, how our product can actually fit here, uh, what's actually going in the Middle East and Lebanon, and uh, how we can fit in and how we can actually also help uh, the Lebanese industry uh, to actually go into the connected world. So what is your plan? Are you planning on running the company long term? Is it something you're going into for the state in Mason? I mean, it's always like uh, when you have a baby, you don't uh, think to get rid of it. You always go for the long run. Okay. But it's always a roller coaster, so you never know what's going to happen next. So culture is basically what makes a company different from competition. What is your company culture, if you can describe it in a few words? I mean, uh, we've always been very much of a chaotic uh, company. So we're, we're traveling a lot. We're never uh, together, like a team, never together for real. So we do a lot of uh, Skypes. We do a lot of uh, meetings in the bars, in the restaurants. So this is where we actually plan. You decide you want to sell your company for a reason or another. I'm sure you'd want to sell it to someone who can take good care of it, who can want to expand, to grow it further because that's your effort, years of effort at the end of the day. I mean, absolutely, you don't want to sell your company to somebody that would uh, totally take the identity uh, of the company away and the identity of the product away. Uh, but it's a tough question because probably the money talks and you come to the decision uh, that you can sell something. But what can you lose by selling, let's say, the company that you actually work, I don't know, 10 or 15 years on it? You probably lose a lot of yourself. We wish you the best of luck and again it was a pleasure meeting you and thank you. Thank you very much for inviting us.